Okay, everybody, here is a really nice jewelry jar. I've had this one sitting here for a while. And I've got many of them sitting around, so I thought that we would open this one up. And I don't even remember where this one really came from. So let's see what's in there. See if there's anything good that we can resell on eBay. Okay, so I didn't film anything last night on Sunday because Sunday I kind of just like to sit around. Maybe it's just kind of me being old school, but that's kind of how it goes. So, I, so I'm taping this on Monday, and I'm going to try to quick edit this for tonight so I can get a vlog out because I'm trying to do this every day. Ooh, let's see what's in here. Well, these are cute. And also, I thought I'd open this. So this came from Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, he always wraps his stuff so nicely. Look at that. It says thank you on it. I, I have stickers similar to this that I got on Amazon. Let's see what we have here. Since this came in the mail, I figured we'd open this one too. How's that? Okay. Okay, so I paid 17 about $17.50 ish. Oh, that's cute. He wraps things so nicely. Look at this. I mean, put my store to shame, that's for sure. <laughs> my shipping. He is the best shipper ever. He really, really has nice shipping. So I think I won this for 12 and then this was like around $5 shipping or something. So let's see what we have. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Look at this, everybody. Look at how pretty this is. Ooh, that's wonderful. That's so pretty. Look at that. That necklace is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what's in here. So we have some bracelets. And looks like there's a lot of bracelets in here. Actually, this kind of feels like a stone. And these are probably just acrylic beads. And actually, these are kind of nicer than just the cheapies. So we've got that, we've got that. So here's some bracelets. This one, it feels like a stone. Now it might be like a manufactured stone maybe, but yeah, these are cute. This is really fun. So we have those. I'm chewing on candy. Sorry if you can hear that. Okay, probably should have finished that first. Here is a, looks like a leather buckle. Um, these do sell on eBay, and this is kind of like a copper tone. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. These do sell pretty good. I've sold a couple of these already. Oh, these are fun. Oh, yes. These I'm going to keep as a reward to myself. Yay, yay. Look at, they're dancing. Do, 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 do. Okay, those are cute. I love those. Ooh, here's a beautiful brooch. And this one, it's got some wear on the paint. And um, it might have had something inside that's missing, maybe. I'm not quite sure. And I might list some of this in a big lot, too. I don't know. Here is a dangly bracelet. Okay, that's adorable. It's like a shell. Oh, here's like a sweater. Here's a scarf clip. You can also use these to clip on your shoes if you see something like that. I think... People use them more as scarf clips these days. That's really pretty. See that? So 
Now, I don't know if this is old. This kind of just looks like maybe, uh, it could be like the 50s or 60s. Those were definitely in style. And if you hear weird noises, my daughter's cat is in here licking stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Licking my purse. Who knows what's on that purse, right? Who knows? Okay, this is pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Little elephant with a trunk up. And he's got a blanket on. I don't see a mark. That is really cute. He's super handsome. Ooh, look at this. this is actually really hefty. Holy cow. Wow, look at these beads. Those beads are, there is some color toning here. I think these might be glass. These are super heavy. It'd almost be worth maybe trying to get all the color off, unless it's supposed to be like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I think this is supposed to be like that because every third bead. It's kind of war looking. Okay, that's definitely different. I wouldn't have thought that, but all right. So this says L-U-C. I don't know if you can see it here. Oh, let's see here. Excuse my hands. They're so dry. My house is extremely dry. I'll see if you can see this here. It says L-U-C-925-C-N. So the clasp up here is a silver, so that's nice. This is a nice, nice piece. I'm definitely going to probably keep this one in my stash for a little bit. And then we have some earrings. What else is this stuff? Oh, we got hearts. That's perfect timing. Here's like a little heart pendant. It's like an infinity heart, if you can see that. That's cute. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ooh. What is this? Okay, one of them is broke. So, uh, yeah, let's just put that in the trash. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves on that one. Okay, so these just look like your normal bracelets. And I don't know how old these are, but these were extremely popular in the 70s. So these might be from the 70s. They look like they're all kind of stamped the same. Um, so they might be like a newer piece. These probably are newer because um, they just look newer. They look stamped. I can hear the kitty cat. He's not too happy. He's stuck in here with me and I'm sitting in his chair. Somehow my chair has become his chair. Ooh, that's cute for Valentine's Day. Boy, I lucked out with this one. That's pretty. That feels like a st actual stone of some sort. Um, maybe it's like an agate or something. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's really pretty. Some kind of stone. Ooh, here is a really long necklace. Look at this. It's got all these daisies on it. This to me looks very like Y2K, like early 2000s, if I were to guess right. So I will put that, I might put it in a lot. Actually, it's got some wood on it. People really like wood jewelry. So that could probably sell pretty good on eBay. Oh, this is neat. Oh, I love this one. 
Here is a glass, a beaded green iridescent necklace. Look at how pretty that is. It's got like a gold tone clasp. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you imagine St. Patty's Day coming up? That's beautiful. Here is like a God is within her. She will not fail. Psalms 4... Psalms 46, 5. Um, and this is just kind of like a fabric-y type of... Um, now I guess this could be a necklace or you could wrap it around maybe or you could use it as a belt. I probably just put this in a religious slot. I have a lot of religious items that I've been getting lately. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, this is going into a craft lot, and this is just like a little piece. It kind of matches the other one, I think, that I had. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a button necklace. I would say probably 50s or 60s on this, if I were to guess. Um, acrylic buttons. Beaded. Very nice. That's pretty, huh? It reminds me of like a snowmobile chain. Like, like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, here's another one of those bracelets. Here is a leather. Oh, I can definitely tell this is leather. I can smell that it's leather. Oh, it's got a magnetic clasp. Okay, that's different. Interesting, right? That's kind of interesting. See that leather? That looks like a good one. It has a nice color tone to it. And then we have what looks like a bee necklace. Okay, and this just looks like a... Um, the bee looks like it's, it's definitely not gold. And the chain is not gold either, so we'll probably try to list this with something, or we can list it alone. But, it, you know, like if you had a relative, kids would probably really like this. I remember buying my daughter's, like, little necklaces and stuff with their initials on them, and they just wore them forever. Um, some relatives kind of made little snarky comments about, oh, don't they ever change their jewelry? And I'm like, no, they don't want to. So it's another pendant. These are similar, but they're not the same. I don't see any stamps on that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this has got a stamp on it. What is this? I think it's a bracelet. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Look at this. I'm not sure what NR means. That's cute. Isn't that just darling? It looks very, like, wintry to me. We still have snow here in Michigan, and it sure does look like those snowy colors. <laughs> that's so cute. I really like that. That's pretty. I don't know if there's another earring to this, but there was an earring. And then this is just like a, a necklace with one of those things that can hold a badge. This is actually a really nice one. It's got a nice weight. I used to have to wear one of these every day. If you have to wear a badge every day, this would be great. Um, I had to wear one in the law firm to be able to get in and out of my office, so... This, you know, if you had a job where you have to wear an ID or some kind of key card, this would be perfect for you. Okay, and here is, what is this? It looks like an Alex and Ani 19, 2018. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not quite sure. 
And I don't know anything about them. I've just kind of heard them around a little bit. So I don't know anything about these. This name brand, but it must be desirable. Oh, infused with energy technology. Oh, I could totally use this today. It looks like it's got a little witch's hat. Oh, it's got a face, everybody. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> That's really cute. That's cute. Okay, and then we have some seed bead. Let's see. Oh, this is for eyeglasses. This is great if you wear eyeglasses. It's just one of those things that you can put your glasses on. So here's a pair of my readers. So I think they just go like this. I've never used them before. Yeah, you can just put them on like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then you always have your readers. So if you really struggle to read... Oh, this would be perfect. You can just wear them like this. It's like a necklace. Oh, that's cool. How cool is that? That's kind of nifty. Okay. We have another... This I'm not sure if this is leather or if it's a faux leather. Um, if I'm not sure, I will probably just lot these kind of things up. And put them in a brown lot. Or I might even put them with this daisy thing. And put them together. Actually this one's got a. Is that a C? No I think it just might be the way it is. Uh, I don't know. This one sure does look like leather to me though. And it smells like leather. So I'm thinking they might be. Okay. Um, this is a vintage item. You can tell by the clasp here. That's usually vintage. And there's some little seashells. Cute design. Probably sold at a beach resort type place. Really cute. Is this an anklet though? This seems kind of big for like a bracelet. I don't know. Maybe it is a bracelet. I think I could actually get this on my ankle. To me, this looks like, you know, 80s, early 90s, I would say, on this one. Oh, this is interesting. And this is like a chain type necklace. And it's got the toggle look on the bottom. Oh, I think it goes like this. There we go. There we go. That's neat. Let's see if it has any markings. Okay, so this says C 1946. I think that might be Charming Charlie or I'm assuming. I looked at this and I actually thought Charming Charlie. So there's that necklace. Oh, we have something else down here. What is going on? What's going on? Okay, and here is a little, looks like a music note. Flowers, or it could be like a seashell or something. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's like an oceany color. Um, really cute, kind of acrylic face. That's adorable. This would look good like if you list stuff like this with these color tones. You know, the blues and the aquas would look really nice. So I'll probably try to make a lot like that. I'm trying to at least get the pictures done as I do my lots. But if I do them like several in a day, several in a week, that might not happen. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's like a toggle clasp. Look at how cute this is. Look at that. I don't see a name brand, but this is a really cute necklace. Look at this. I think you're supposed to show that. It looks like a, a locked locket. See that? Oh, that's cute. Um, Here is a ring. Now, this looks like a cheapy ring, so I don't think this is real. 
Just looks kind of cheap, feels kind of cheap. It's got a little hair cling on. Let's put that in the trash. Oh, this is very crude looking. So this is definitely just going to be loaded up with one of my items. Okay, so if you can maybe see it a little better here. Now the one on the bottom is, uh, you know, probably like the 1920s. And this one's just got a different hue to it. It's more of a coppery color. Um, the little stones, they sure do glisten nice. But the metal is made very, very crudely. I don't know if you can see that. Inside and outside. Um, I don't think there's really anything to this one. So that's kind of neat. Okay, and then here we have a beautiful, look at this beautiful necklace. Oh, that's pretty. It's got some white. It's got some kind of a buttercream color. See that? And then it has these really pretty iceberg blue colors. That's nice. I might keep this one because I like to wear these kind of necklaces. Hides all my wrinkles since I I am getting close to 50 now. So <laughs> I tend to go for necklaces like this. So I might keep this one and it'll be my wrinkle hider. Ooh, these are actually really pretty. What are these? What in the... I don't even know what this is. I'm so confused. <laughs> it looks like a paper clip, everybody. Oh. <laughs> um, I thought it was an earring. I thought it was a really pretty earring, but this, and it feels cheap. So I think that is for shoes. Is it like a shoe clip or you can wear it as like a scarf clip or even a pocket clip probably. So I'm going to list these. I'm going to put these on a lot because I don't think they're really desirable too much to anybody um they're acrylic and they feel you know kind of like one of those cheapies so that's what was in my jar the jar is empty everybody i hope you enjoyed i definitely had fun doing this i hope you all have a good day i'm going to try to edit this video and get this out tonight for everybody to see okay everybody bye